Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. I just made another video uh, where I explained I don't have time to make these videos right now because I have so many interviews. So I'm just going through the easiest problems ever. So if you are smart and smart enough to sum an array of integers, then just leave, I would say. Um, if you're not, maybe this is one of the first things you're doing. Maybe you're a beginner. I guess this is a beginner problem. The last one was kind of pathetic. This one is like this is a beginner problem, I guess, if you just started. Uh, so given an array of integers, find the sum of its elements. For example, so yeah, you don't. Some you might not even know what an array is if you're a real beginner. Um, so an array of 1, 2, 3 uh, is 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. So what is an array? I guess I will just um, target this towards be really beginner level programmers. Um, an array is a data structure, right? So in code... When you have code, right, we have numbers. You can type numbers out, right? Um, and we want to have these numbers in some kind of structure sometimes, right? So we have this thing called an array, um, right? So we're passed in this array. And we have these things called functions that execute code when we call them. Um, so we pa functions take parameters. So it takes this array. And this array is a list of numbers, right? Um a list and array are often used interchangeably in programming. So, and then we have these things called for loops, so that we can go if it's if if it was a list of numbers, for example, you know, one, two, three. A for loop, what it does is it sets a counter to zero, and we access these by something called an index. This is the zero index. This is the one. This is the two. Uh, index is based on length minus one. The length of this would be three because there's three elements, one, two, three. Each integer is an element of the array. So you loop through with this little counter because we have this counter going from zero, i zero, to i less than array.length, which is three, like I just said, one, two, three, and it has to be less than three. Um, then we do, we also have a variable. I hope that you guys know what a variable is um, so far. We set a variable sum to zero. I don't like to use um, sum because it's a keyword in some languages. Array sum is set to zero. So what we do is we just do array sum plus equals array of i. And this is accessing an element by index. So the element at position zero, if you put it in imagine i, i is zero, i is in this bracket. So array of bracket zero accesses array of the first element, so one. So the sum is zero, sum plus equals one, equal, is adding one to the sum. So there we go, now sum is one. Then we hit two eventually, because this is a loop. It doesn't break out until i is two, in this case. Um, so i becomes one, and then we get the second element, um, and then we add two to the sum, etc. And then we turn return array sum at the end, and that returns our final value. So that is, you know, I don't know who that was really targeted towards. Like I said, I'm just doing these videos because I don't have time to do them, and these ones are easy. Um, so let me know in the comments if anyone found that useful, or if anyone's a beginner and actually understood any of that so i mean i'm just trying to give a little overview here and there we go we summed up all the elements and we got a sum um and there we go so thank you guys for watching and uh i'll teach you some better ones hopefully soon